So here I am at the beginning of Lynx Pride. This is where the parade is gathering. And um, it, this is my first Pride outside of the United Kingdom. I've been to lots of Norwich Prides, all nine of them in fact. And I can't be there this year, so I'm really looking forward to um, filming this one. And uh, lots of people gathering here now. The, uh, the second Lynx Pride Parade is, is starting to look a bit lively. I've got no idea just how many people will turn up but um, hoping it'll have a good uh, turnout and uh, whatever, I'm just really looking forward to being part of this event with a lot of diverse people. Fantastic! So the parade's gathering here at the northern edge of Schiller Park and there will be some words from the organisers. Then the parade will set off down Landstrasse following the tram route. some great chants and placards here. Our life, our freedom, our rights, our desire, our gender, our diversity. So the parade sets off down Landstrasse and we're marching close to a rather fetching inflatable rainbow unicorn. Many of the slogans in this parade are in German but uh, English is popular too. And this year's official Lintz Pride strapline is altogether stronger than ever. The parade route is about 1.4 kilometres long, or just under a mile, and will end on the other side of the Danube at the Ars Electronica Centre. The parade set off a little late at around 3.25pm and is expected to take an hour or so to pass through the heart of Linz, which is the capital of the state of Upper Austria and the third largest city in Austria. And Landstrasse turns into Schmidtostrasse as we approach the Hauptplatz, the main square of Linz, where the parade will pause for an intermediate rally. There will be time for more speeches and the trams will be able to get past us. The parade is now entering the Hauptplatz. And I must say the parade has drawn a lot more people than I expected. I wasn't here last year, but uh, judging by the photographs I've seen, the march has grown a lot since last year. So we've now paused at the Hauptplatz. This is the spacious main square of Linz, and it's just near a big bridge over the Danube, which we'll be crossing shortly. And there's time for some more speeches before we set off again. Linz Pride was organised by Hosi Linz as a show of diversity and solidarity and as a protest against the discrimination experienced by the LGBT community. And there's a message that love means more than everything else. And the parade is underway again. Today is also a demonstration in memory of the Stonewall Riots, which were the first big uprisings of LGBT people against police assaults. They happened at the Stonewall Inn, a bar on Christopher Street in New York City, on the 28th of June 1969. The annual Remembrance Day has become known as Christopher Street Day, or CSD. And we're now crossing the Danube as we approach the end of the parade. There are some great views here of the hills surrounding Linz. We're marching under a blue sky in bright sunshine. After some recent downpours, I think the organisers have hit lucky with the weather today. Unsere Rechte! Our rights! More chants as we turn right off the bridge into the Arts Electronica Centre, ready for the Strassenfest. And the parade is over. Well, that was a great march, so what can I add? Well, after the parade there was plenty of inexpensive food and drink available at the Strassenfest, and there was a great stage and sound system ready for entertainment from the Crack Street Girls and others. I'll just add here that we stayed at the Strassenfest for two or three more hours and enjoyed a great performance by Karen Dash, 
a very good nine-piece soul funk band. So, well done to the organisers, Hosey Linz. This has been a brilliant Pride event, uh, which we will remember for a long time. Well, that's all for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please uh, click the like button below and subscribe to my channel. And maybe leave some comments in the comments section below. Uh, I hope to see you again very soon with more from Austria. And in the meantime, you can follow me on Twitter and on Facebook. So, that's all for now. Bye.